Dear Philip, hey, I, uh, I hope I can get this to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, it's been a while, huh? You've been busy, I get it. How's Indiana treating you well, I bet? I've thought about it, you know, grad school. I've got a few internships I'm looking at, but who knows? You had a lot of guts, just dropping everything and leaving. But no second chances, like you always told me. Hey, if we don't, uh, talk again, I just want you to know you're a good man. I hope you can live today like there's no tomorrow. Like there's no second chances. <laughs> Take care. Dawson. Dear Mr. Duncan, How's my favorite professor? I bet chemistry hasn't been the same since I left. Is there still that hole in the ceiling? I hope so. The principal never let that go. Dear Michael, heard you finally made it to the semifinals. That is awesome, buddy. Good for you. Keep on dribbling that ball. How's your mom doing? Isabel. If my memory serves, you still owe me for letting you borrow all of my geography homework from chapter 10, second semester of sophomore year. I mean, Carpenter's quizzes were impossible, but a favor's a favor. Dear Robbie, it's crazy to think we met five years ago now. I don't regret a single moment, and from the beginning, you were always there for me, even through the toughest times of my life. I'd like to thank you for com Dear Evan, I'm the one who sprained your ankle while playing basketball in the sixth grade. I figure now is a better time than any to say that's my bad, so it's my bad. Dear Derek, I just saw your brother at Walmart the other day. I can't believe he's already in high school. You always like to know how I'm spending my time, so I've got quite a few letters to go through. What's funny is that I've done so many now. I don't even remember what I've written. Is that sad? I hope it isn't. My mom says hi. <laughs> she always liked when you'd come over and we'd have family therapy. <laughs> We're all lucky to call you a friend, Derek. Take care, Dawson. Take care, Dawson. Take care, Dawson. Dear Fresh Meat, Nicholas, my man, how are you doing? I guess you're not fresh anymore. Sophomore now, right? That would make your name Soft Meat. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, are you still dating that Vanessa girl? Man, her pool party last year was amazing. You almost crushed that poor girl with your enormous cannonballs. Although they were hilarious, I do feel bad for laughing. Party hard today, sophomore. And don't worry, you'll always be fresh meat to me. Give your mama a kiss for me. <laughs> Take care, Dawson.
Dear Sophie, you probably don't remember me. We met in a workshop at that convention back in January. I remember your performances, they were wonderful. You even sang in that final award ceremony. There was a dance on the last night of the trip with a DJ and every student had to have been there. You left to go get a drink the same time I did and it's like you were waiting for me. We danced for a while. I've thought about that night a lot. I know this is a weird place to say this, but I think I... I think I... I think I... Hey, Dad. It's me. How you doing? Good. Huh? Are you happy? Mom's happy. I'm happy. I am so happy. You hear me? Dear Dawson, <laughs> 